The most popular dessert of fall has got to be the apple crisp. It's warm, it's comforting, and it is just begging to be served up with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. And I'm showing you how to make it. Crisps can be made with any kind of fruit, but I think the most popular is probably apple crisp, maybe followed by pear. Now sometimes you hear the words crumble or cobbler and you get them all confused. A crisp and a crumble are very similar because it's really just referring to the topping. The topping of a crisp is made from just flour, butter, sugar, and oats. A cobbler is generally made with a dough topping. A lot of different varieties of apples can be used to make an apple crisp. You just want the ones that are kind of hearty and super crunchy. A Granny Smith is good because it's also tart, so it balances well with that sweetness from the sugar. You'll want to peel, core, and slice your apples. To keep your apples from turning brown and so you don't feel like you have to speed through this process, you can add your apples to some lemon water. That's gonna keep them from turning brown. I'm using a combination of Granny Smith and Fuji apples because I love the tartness from the Granny Smith and the sweet crunch from the Fuji apple. Something like a red delicious apple doesn't generally hold up as well. Apple crisp are a great dessert to make if you're serving a crowd because they're very inexpensive, especially when apples are in season. All you have to really buy are the apples. Everything else you probably have in your pantry. I've drained my apples and I'm gonna add them to a bowl. I'm going to stir a little sugar, just regular sugar and cinnamon into the apples. About two tablespoons of white sugar and about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. The combination of the juices from the apples mixed with the sugar and cinnamon is gonna create this little syrup. You know what I'm talking about? So when you add that ice cream, it's like we're building the perfect bite. Put our apples in our baking dish and now we'll make our topping. For the topping, I'm starting with a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna add in some flour and some oats and cinnamon. This is going to absorb some of those juices and then we add some butter in. It's gonna create this crust, a crispy crust, known as a crisp. You might be thinking, that looks like a lot of topping. But to me, the topping, just like the crust of a pie, is the most important part. And the more topping, the better. That's why this recipe has over a thousand five-star ratings, because they got it. They got the importance of the ratio of topping to fruit. And then finally, we're gonna add in some cold butter. You're gonna work this butter in with some forks or a pastry cutter if you are a baker. You know, when I first started making this, I really just used my hands. The whole point is you just want to break up the butter and get it mixed with this delicious brown sugar and flour to where it's like large pea-sized crumbles. Now we just spread it all over the top. We want some to fall into those little nooks and crannies so that it will absorb those juices and the rest that's left on top is the part that's gonna get crispy. It's just that easy. This goes into a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes until it's just good and bubbly, golden brown and crisp on top. This smells like fall. Go get the ice cream. The time has come, but first, to make sure it's an authentic crisp, let's listen for the crisp. crisp. Y'all know these are my favorite perfect bites when they have hot and cold and crunchy and soft all together. When you think about comfort food, you're generally thinking about a warm, savory meal. But honey, this sweetness is ultra comforting, I'm telling you. Mm. And I can tell you with a thousand percent certainty that this also makes an incredible breakfast. It's easy to make, it's affordable, and so comforting. This is Apple Crisp. And when it comes to this delicious fall dessert, you can cook that. And if you haven't subscribed, now is the time to do so so you never miss a seasonal favorite like this.